It's now time for our first ever Banana Land Wedding. We're going to have a actual wedding on the field, which is you know, bananas if you think about it. This is Megan and Ryan. These are the groom and bride to be later tonight. Super excited for them. <laughs> this is a massive production with both teams, coaches, players, uh, and obviously their families. This is a full-blown, real wedding with a marriage license happening on the field. So hopefully it all goes well. Let's go ahead and get wedding party in our right spot. As the intro starts, you guys will walk from the dugout to these spots. I don't think Zach's ever done a wedding before, so this is interesting. It's like taking charge with it. It's like, all right, now you guys here, now you here. This is how it goes. Okay. <laughs> we exist to make baseball fun. That's where everything started. So Banana Ball was born. This is Banana Land. Howdy. We got some new hats. Got some new cowboy hats. We're in Texas. Constellation Field, home of the Space Cowboys. Really cool to be here in Texas. The first four stops were in Florida or back in Savannah. So it's good to hop on a plane and get out into the Houston area. The bananas for five and one party animals, five, four and one. So the animals a game ahead as we go to game 12. This past Saturday, the Major League Baseball Players Alumni Association played against the bananas and what a night it was. So cool to see so many of the guys getting into the spirit of banana ball. Monday, we find ourselves back in our favorite uniforms. Kills! I was so nervous. I hadn't practiced in a while. Perfect. That feeling was amazing. It's electric. Well, this is so cool. There's no way it's actually like that. They're really amazing people. Noah Bridges would show up and show out for the occasion with a spectacular diving catch, but Bryson Bloomer could not be outdone as he led the party animals to a 4-2 win. After the three-game homestand, it was time to hit the road again, this time Sugarland, Texas. It is game 12 of the 2023 Banana Ball World Tour, live from Constellation Field, the first leg of a three-game series. Three nights in a row is going to be tough. I believe that as long as the microphones are up, I will survive. Fans are just so excited to have us. You know, we don't have to explain as much to everyone what we're doing. People kind of know, so it's easier for us to bring this joy with us wherever we go. Sugarland, Texas, baby! The boys are here! We're ready to rock! That one chopped to the left side. Acuff gets a pop. DR getting the wave around. Throw from Hampton, not in time. Bananas walk off the first inning. Really good start to the first ever banana ball game played in Texas. Wow, cartwheel wow. snag. Matt Wolf, welcome to second base. Then the party animals came out gangbusters in the second. They scored five runs. He's going to hit a ground ball to the right side. We score another run. That one is on a hop, knocked down by Dalton Malden, and it's going to be an infield single. I called it. I called it. Bryson Bloomer between the legs. So far, the animals have been dominating at pretty much every facet of banana ball. We're bringing the juice today. When you got the juice, the crowd kind of comes your way. Every time we're crazy and dancing, they're starting to all do it with us. And now we're scoring a ton of runs. Go ball. Go ball. Jake Skull, Oppo Tacos, it's his third bomb of the season. And greeted with a birthday cake at home plate. Who is the lucky man? Carson wants the cake and gets it. <laughs> I think I had my mouth open and everything. I got like a full bite. Fluky, the exterminator, gets a one, two, three frame. Ah, that's all, baby. Oh yeah, we're going again. Mask is coming off. Might even take the shirt off for you guys too. Watch out. Sean Fluke. Uh-oh. Looks like he's getting a little hot out there. That yeah. one nub towards second, and party animals will trade it out for a run. The party animals aren't trying trick plays. They're up two runs and they're just like, 
they're taking these easy outs. I've been on them. I said, like, if they're up by two or more runs, they have to try a trick play on a routine. It begs a question about if and when this becomes a league, whether or not we come up with a new point system so teams don't just make routine plays to make outs. And uh, two hops to Baber at second, flips it under the leg. Finally! It's not so hard. The clock has hit zero. The two hour time limit tells us we're in our last inning. Danny Hosley represents the winning run for the Bananas. Can he be the hero at the plate? Bloomer to third, across the diamond. Double play, party animals win. 4-1 victory for the boys in black and pink. It is the party animals tour so far on this young season, 12 games in. We'll see if the Nanners can fight back tomorrow night. We're gonna enjoy this win. Tomorrow's a new day. It feels pretty weird to come down right out of getting out of bed. There's kids waiting for us, mobbing us. It's pretty cool though. Kind of gets the day started on the right foot. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Texas blown us away. Every place we've gone, fans lining up hours in advance. Yesterday, in the cold, wet rain, fans lining up. It's unbelievable. And to be at our hotel, and kids are running from the pool to greet us as we get off the, the bus. And people waiting in the hotel lobby at 11.30, 12 o'clock at night to get autographs and meet the players. It's wild. You can tell it's not just your typical baseball team. And the response, I would say, is even different than a major league team. I don't know if uh, tons of kids are lined up early to meet one of the major league teams. I think it's, it's a whole different world right now, which is pretty exciting for the players. They get to see that what they're doing is much bigger than baseball. That's what's exciting. having a actual wedding with Megan and Ryan. Megan actually reached out uh, a few months ago about having the wedding on the field, which is, you know, bananas if you think about it. It's exactly what we like to do. Whatever's normal, do the exact opposite. Matt Wolf uh, was specially requested to walk Megan down the aisle. She grew to be a pretty big fan of his over the Banana Land series, and uh, we're really excited that uh, we're gonna have the opportunity to have that happen for her. So today is my grandmother's birthday who passed away. And so our plan was always to get married on March 17th. But we loved you guys. And so we were just like, okay, we need to like figure out what to do. And I just emailed them and I was like, hey, what are your thoughts on this? Matt Wolf can walk me down the aisle. Just let's have some fun with it. And not only did he email us back, but he sent us a YouTube video you telling us that he's actually going to do it and make our dreams come true. Is that so cool? That's so nice. so I'll add to that. All my right. mom and dad let's got go married. Let's watch this. Let's watch this. Really? Oh my God, it's so perfect that you're walking <laughs> me down the aisle. Oh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. Are you really wanting me to drop my pants? Yeah, Honestly. do it. You don't want to do it? I, if that's what you want. Hey, it's, it's, your it's her day. It's your day. Yeah, it's your day. So uh, we kind of explained what was going to happen yesterday to you guys. Um, the big thing is, is we have to practice this in two different ways. Bananas on the field and party animals on the field. Straight line, both sides. Okay. And then we're going to have the band basically have a center line that's going to create your aisle, and they're going to play the Here Comes the Bride. At that point, they'll meet at the mound. The wedding will happen. Matt DeWitt is our officiant. The clock is not stopping. The count will go back to exactly how it is, OK? And you know, there was like very, very like strenuous debate on whether or not we stop the clock or we keep the I'm clock so running. I'm so glad that you're not. Oh, yeah? Yes. Me too. Because, because you we... can get a whole game and a wedding. Well, I need a... Nobody's ever done that. I know. Absolutely. I know. I know. All right, so, but the wedding's got to be quick. Oh, yeah. Three Please. minutes. Yep. I, I, I will start getting fidgety right down there. No, I'm going to be like, I'll give you that. We will not be stopping the clock, and this is just a little bit better of a story. And I think that our guys are up for the task. It's going to be about a minute 30 intro and then about a minute 30 of wedding. So uh, hopefully it all goes well. That was 4.30 right there. We're trying to get it at 3. We're going to cut about a minute off, but the goal, we can. Be so 
Well, if we all grab, like, do it. Oh, all right, sick. Yeah, all right. We do that. all right. We're doing so it. Cool. We're doing it. Yo, they got bananas. bananas. You guys are gonna follow the bridesmaids and groomsmen. Link arm with the person across from you. Walk out. Once you get to the end of the aisle, you're going back to your spot. So, players, once you guys come through this tunnel, like, book it, because we're already flirting with too long. All right. The storytelling behind this is insane. Not only for them, but for us when we can say, hey, we played in nine inning games in two hours, and we had a full wedding in the middle of the game. The kids have been begging for Savannah Banana tickets, so I just had to be here, sat through the rain. We're pumped, we're ready. We're from Katy, Texas. Let's go. I don't, even, I don't even like know what I'm doing, honestly. Normally somebody's here to like walk me through what to do. Like baseball, I've played baseball my whole life. The dancing stuff, like trying to get the steps right, trying to actually look like you know what you're doing out there, like that's the challenge for me. Getting better though, having fun with it. Hey, let's go! Game two, Sugar Land, baby. <laughs> Game time. Hey. Welcome in to game 13 of the 2023 Banana Ball World Tour. This is crazy! Coming to you live here in Sugarland, Texas. Down on the field. Things are really revving up here. This, this wedding's gonna be great. Like, you saw the rehearsal. And it's amazing the fact that there are literally about 50 plus people in this wedding. But I can't wait for it to like play out. It is going to be a really fun ball game tonight. The 13th game that we've had on the tour. Vico Scala back in the booth as Eric Jones smashes it to Eric Jones. Goodbye. Oh, March 17th, 2023. Day that's gonna go down in Banana Land history. Dolan Cornette drives that deep to left. What a catch! Michael Deeb on the run. Yeah. Shot for a fan to make the catch. No, Eric Jones is going to be the man to snag it, and he'll get high fives from everybody behind, hopefully. Our family was kind of going through a tough time. We just found so much joy in watching the Savannah Bananas. It really just gave us hope that, you know, there are just moments in time that are rough, but you just have to have a really positive attitude, just like the bananas are, and just have fun with life, and that's really what we're doing here tonight. Tucker Perry's going to throw one last pitch before the countdown goes down. We're at the hour mark, and let's throw it over to Shark. In Banana Land, we love to make dreams come true. Fans, it's now time for our first ever Banana Land wedding. Megan and Ryan wish to celebrate their relationship surrounded by all these bananas. Ryan, you may kiss the bride. Absolutely amazing, way more than what we expected. We'll never, ever, ever forget it. Thank you, Savannah Bananas. We love Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final inning. As we head to the ninth, the Bananas lead by three. Party Angles down to their final strike. runs, two hours, full wedding in the middle, 
and we have 19 seconds to spare. Everybody bought in and crushed it and did exactly what they needed to do. And without them, I'm just a guy on a mic. So it's pretty insane that we were able to pull that off, to say the least. The Nanners taking on the Charleston Dirty Birds of the Atlantic League. The second challenger of the tour, only the third in banana ball history. We're 23 games in, every single game has gone nine innings. It's crazy just to see this in person, bro. Like, seeing it online is completely different. Yeah. Yeah. talent for sure, they just gotta adapt to how we lose.